Now, uh, I want, for instance, to examine a little better here on the screen the time delay um, on the first open. To do it, uh, I can, uh, you see, come here and move two cursors that I have available. The, the first one is called T1, the second one is called T2. For instance, if I go to T2 and move, uh, I don't know if you appreciate uh, the cursor moving, uh, the dotted line moving here. Now, if I come back uh, and press the zoom, here it is, uh, I have zoomed uh, the first part of the diagram. Now, I can come back uh, to T2 and uh, move it uh, until uh, it is uh, corresponding to the opening of the phases. You see, I am moving in quite big steps, uh, but if I press on 5, the movement is reduced so that I can read here that the time difference between here, T1, I move it to 0, which is the starting point, and here, okay, is 41.5 milliseconds. I can even zoom more if I come on T1 this way and then on T2 this way and press the zoom. I can even zoom more on what is the difference, uh, the timing difference between the three contexts. Okay? So if I go again to T1. and then I press on 5 and I come here and then I go to T1 I press on 5 and I can come here you see this slight very small time difference is 1.5 milliseconds okay and this is the timing difference between the three phases now <coughs> If I unzoom and unzoom again, I am back to uh, my main screen. I can repeat the operation on, for instance, the second delay. Here it is, T1. Here it is. Zoom up, okay? And then again. I locate T1 at the starting point that is marked, you see. In T2, I locate it at the moment when it has opened again. And you see now the timing is 47.5, slight difference. Okay? So you see, you can, by examining the diagram, um, read uh, the delays, I don't repeat it uh, for the close command eh? but uh, now if you go to menu and uh, results uh, and save uh, and uh, I now save uh, test uh, open close open Okay, one. The result is saved. Now uh, you have seen the, the test examination, the test result examination on the diagram, but if you go to the main screen and select the result, okay, here you have the table that is telling you in clear terms uh, what happened. So, closed coil, maximum current, open current, uh, coil, one maximum current, okay? And uh, also the time duration for these commands. Open coil two and three are there because uh, the option is there, but uh, we are not interested to that. Next. Main breaker contact A1. You see? 
it is uh, told uh, directly. You don't need uh, to go to the diagram because in the result table you find close time delay 67.7, open time this value, clo open time number two this value. And this is for phase one. Next for phase two and for phase three, you have all the timing of the main contacts. Now, next. You have even the spread between uh, um, the, the poles uh, and the average open time and close time on the three contacts. Then, if you have uh, bounces on the context uh, that can be very dangerous, uh, here the table is telling you how much is the bouncing that has been measured. Then, auxiliary context. We have uh, enabled the auxiliary context uh, and these are the timings for the two auxiliary contacts that you have uh, connected. Now, uh, you have seen uh, the, the test examination, the test result examination on the diagram, uh, but if you go to the main screen and uh, select the result, uh, okay, here you have the table that is telling you in clear terms uh, what happened. So, close coil, maximum current, open current, uh, coil, one maximum current. Okay? And also the time duration for these commands. Open coil 2 and 3 are there because uh, the option is there, but uh, we are not interested to that. Next. Main breaker contact A1. You see? It is uh, told uh, directly. You don't need uh, to go to the diagram because in the result table you find Close time delay 67.7, open time this value, Clo open time number two this value. And this is for phase one. Next for phase two and for phase three, you have all the timing of the main contacts. Now, next. You have even the spread between uh, um, the, the poles uh, and the average uh, open time and close time on the three contacts. Then, if you have bounces on the contacts that can be very dangerous, here the table is telling you how much is the bouncing that has been measured. Then, auxiliary contact. We have enabled the auxiliary contacts and these are the timings for the two auxiliary contacts that you have uh, connected. 